Okay, so. Time for the final meta meditation of this retreat to celebrate love in general and to spread that loving kindness widely as far as it flows with all beings. So once again, getting really comfortable first of all by asking your body what it needs right now. After all these days together sitting, perhaps forcing your body a little too hard See if there's anything you can do to loosen up any aching joints or muscles, maybe clothing that's a little tight or maybe uneven weight on your buttocks. See what you can do to really bring your body the maximum comfort and ease. And perhaps beginning meditation with a gentle smile. It can actually be a smile on your lips or just a mental smile towards your inner world. As though you were being kissed by the sun or held in the gaze of someone with only good intentions towards you full of love and compassion, sympathetic joy. Allow yourself to relax in that beautiful kindfulness. Allowing it to spread through the whole body, from the top of the head to the tips of the toes, flowing, flowing down. Illuminating the feelings in the body and simultaneously carrying that sense of friendship and warmth towards those sensations, towards your experience right now. Paying particular attention, loving attention to areas that are tight or tense, where you hold your worry or stress, perhaps in your brow, your temples, allowing them to expand. as your awareness softens and smooths them out. Relaxing your mouth, your jaw. Unscrunching your shoulders. Relaxing your arms and hands. Imagining that sunshine or that smile spreading down your neck, through your torso, your chest, your ribs. Shining on all little parts, every little part of your body, every sensation you experience on this journey. And spreading kindness along with it. Allowing your tummy to be soft. The 
muscles in your back to relax. Slip down, supported by your spine, your ribs. Everything becoming loose. And feeling your buttocks on the ground, on the chair. Any sensations, maybe pressure, heaviness, warmth. Different sensations as you travel through your buttocks, your thighs. Bringing friendship and warmth to every part of your legs and down to your knees, your shins, your calves, all the way to your ankles and your feet, not neglecting even that littlest toe. as though your whole body were just being bathed in sunshine, in loving kindness and care. And spending a few moments connecting to the area around the chest, if that's comfortable for you, or any place in the body that feels at ease, maybe the palms of the hands, or the soles of the feet, the skin. And bringing to mind a person who's very dear to you, A thought of whom brings an inner smile, maybe a real smile, as you connect with them, imagining looking into their eyes and wishing them well, bathing them in this same beautiful golden light. and noticing their body, their whole being relax as they soak up your good wishes, your love. Taking all the time in the world to make this person the recipient of all your love, giving fully and completely. Giving them your care. Feeling that meta grow in your heart. And keep 
keeping this person close. Allow this loving kindness to start spreading to everyone sitting here in this room, including the Zoom room. As though the sunlight were coming in through the windows, spreading equally to all. Softening any physical or emotional pain. Putting everyone deeply at ease with a sense of belonging, safety, community. Bringing to mind the goodness of the people we're sitting with, the beauty of their intentions to bring more love, more happiness into this world and to stop hurting and harming themselves and those they love. Celebrating that beauty, that goodness that's in each and every one of us. May we all be happy, truly happy. May we be fully content. May we all be safe and well. And may our suffering come to an end through the power of this loving kindness. May our hearts be healed and may we become of immeasurable benefit to those in our lives and around us. May we know that we're loved, that we have a spiritual home in community and deep in our hearts. May we know that we belong. And from wherever you are, whether you're in this room or at home, joining by Zoom, imagining that loving kindness, allowing it to spread beyond the confines of your walls, of your home or the Quaker Center here in Sheffield, and spill over into the streets below. Where people are looking for something, for happiness in various forms. May they all find true happiness. May they be safe and well. May they always have enough to eat.
May they have spiritual friends or wise friends to accompany them through life. All beings in the city of Sheffield or wherever you are from. Those in the hospitals, those on the busy streets. Those who are having arguments in their homes. Those who are happy and at ease, all beings in this city and around the world. Imagining our loving kindness spreading in every direction from wherever we are, from Sheffield, imagining this beautiful golden light spreading from here Joining up with the light from all those other people joining on Zoom. Some of you in America, South America, and all across Europe. Imagining each of us like a little light or maybe a strong and powerful glow. And that glow starts to spread. Joining up with other people's light and illuminating this whole planet Earth. Spreading across Europe to the Middle East, south towards Africa. North towards Russia, Scandinavia, China. To Asia and Southeast Asia. To Australasia. <coughs> the North and South Pole. And across the ocean to America, the Americas, Canada, America, South America, and all the little islands. Wherever there's life. May all beings, wherever they are, be safe, be at peace. Spreading to your families wherever they are, maybe in India, Australia, Myanmar, where I know many people, spiritual friends. Wherever there are loved ones, lingering there for a while. And spreading to those places, experiencing the violence of war, destruction, where people are living in fear, whether in Palestine and Israel, the Ukraine, various countries in Africa, Myanmar, wherever beings are suffering right now, 
May there be peace. May those beings inflicting harm lay down their weapons, even for a moment, and recognize that love is the only solution, the only way to live that makes sense. May all beings who are fearful be free from fear. All beings who are hungry find something to eat. All beings find safety and most of all find peace. All beings who are just coming into this world, taking their very first breath. And all those who are old, in the last phase of life, or dying, may they not be alone. May they too be at peace. Imagining this loving kindness, these beautiful golden lights shining so bright, they envelop the whole planet Earth. Bringing happiness and peace to all beings, including the animals, big or small, the insects, even those we view as pests, all the little spiders, the ants, the snails, the slugs, the animals who live underground, the rabbits, the wombats in Australia, All the creatures of the rivers, the lakes and the seas, may they too be safe, be happy, be at peace. All beings, the birds, the bats, all creatures who live and fly in the sky, even the tiniest midges, may they all be well. And all invisible beings, those we cannot see with our eyes, but may be there, perhaps in the higher realms, enjoying the fruits of a life well lived, or in the lower realms of ghosts, demons, Beings who feel scared, may all beings share our loving kindness. May they be happy and at peace. Just resting with a sense of all being. Loving kindness suffusing the whole planet Earth and even beyond as far as it will. A 
just relaxing, resting there. And now very gently starting to bring that metta back inside, inside your city or town, your room, your body, but leaving that warmth outside. Coming to the source of the fire in your heart source of loving kindness. And welcoming yourself, every aspect of yourself into your own heart. Whatever part of me I've rejected, my poor old brain, the part that feels scared or ashamed. The child that was bullied or abused. Imagine them coming into your heart. And you're standing at the door opening your heart and allowing them in. May I be happy, every part of me. With all my idiosyncrasies, faults, strengths, and beautiful qualities too. May I learn to accept myself completely, unconditionally. May I allow myself in to receive unconditional loving kindness. and forgiveness. Sabesata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Purgala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Sapa Itio Sabe Purisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anaria Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Wini Parika Awe Rahontu 
abhya paja hon tu ani ga hon tu sukhyat nam bhavi havantu dukha munjantu yada lada sampadito Mawe gachantu kama saka. Sadhu. 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 <laughs> okay, well that was a warm up. <laughs> we'll have another one after the next blessing, which is also for everybody here, but specifically for these lovely people. And I forget your name, I don't think I asked. It's Ranjali. Ranjali. Ranjali and Sunna, right? Yes, Ranjali and Sunna. So, um, yeah, we're just going to move our camera. I think the one from the Zoomies will stay where it is. And um, very generously, they've offered to share this occasion with everybody here and also for the recording to inspire other people to know that at least in the Dhamma, no one's left out. Everybody's included and celebrated for who they are. And uh, it's a great privilege to be able to offer you both a blessing on your journey. And um, please come and sit here if you're comfortable. And uh, for anyone who's uh, not keen to be on the recording, if you're worried about that, please um, perhaps find a seat over there. But you're very welcome to be where you are if you're comfortable with that. Um, so. <laughs> so, we're going to give you a blessing. Do you want to? Say anything, first of all, or... <laughs> you don't have to. No, it's um, also what... Um, I, I was also thinking about this yesterday, um, about how our family is in here, but, you know, uh, this is more beautiful and special and just... Um, you know, beyond anything that we could have, like, had in mind when we, like, you know, came. And it's, it's so beautiful to, um, to be here, like, you know, and, um, with, with everybody and also <laughs> to have your blessings venerable. And um, yeah. it's, it, it means just so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. And the blessings of, I think, everybody here. I know, there's a lot of people who are very happy to be part of that, so, I would yeah. say, um, <laughs> don't sort of, uh, because I feel like I'm receiving so much and it's also a lot. <laughs> yes, it's good, it's good. We need to receive a lot. So this is just the blessings that the Buddha shared and uh, it's the loving kindness in English. So. I'd like to invite anyone who knows this blessing to sing along, chant along. We're not really supposed to sing, but I'll try and make it a little bit melodic. And uh, please feel free to join in, even if you only half know the words, or you can hum the tune or whatever it is. So uh, this is the Buddha's words on loving kindness, which hopefully can be of some guidance to you in your lives. And uh, really it contains all the, te all the teachings from the virtue to the spreading that goodness of your lives with others. And of course, loving kindness includes forgiveness. It includes compassion, understanding when one another make mistakes and giving each other that gift of forgiveness. One thing I would like to say is Ajahn Brahm's advice to do a little forgiveness ceremony once a year where you buy each other something very simple, not expensive and just exchange it and genuinely ask forgiveness from one another you know, confess any mistake that you've made and, and ask for that forgiveness. And if you uh, are honest, then you develop that trust. So we're not meant to be perfect in life, but with the honesty and with the forgiveness, then the relationship deepens and grows. So 
I wish you very, very well in your life together. Okay. <clears throat> this is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied. Not busy with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove, wishing in gladness and in safety. May all beings be happy. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be happy. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none through anger or ill will wish harm upon another even as a mother protects with her life her child, her only child, so with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded, free from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding by not holding to false views 
the pure-hearted one, having clarity of vision, being free from all sense desire, is not born again into this world. <laughs> Okay, now it's the real one. Sadhu. Celebrate. Sadhu. Sadhu. Yay. <laughs> Bless you both. <laughs> <laughs> bless you, bless you, and bless everybody <laughs> on your journey on. And uh, yeah, and thank you also for doing this. They wanted to do it on the video for other people to inspire other people in the community that you too can have a life which you choose and be loved and accepted for that. Wonderful. Thank you, everybody. And uh, are we supposed to say a few words again to end the day and to end the retreat? And uh, quickly thank everyone. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I yeah. just also thank everybody for um, being our um, <laughs> family <laughs> almost. So um, it's just so beautiful. So thank you all for your blessings. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you both. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you can stay here. <laughs> stay here for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> we invite you to be involved. And uh, any dana that you're able to give, dana just means generosity, so it can be in any form, will go towards building community so uh, that the bhikkhunis, like myself, and hopefully ones that I train, can continue to teach because if we're not supported, we can't. And that includes um, support for our uh, lodgings and, of course, Everything that's offered to the Sangha is shared with the whole community. We don't receive anything personally. We're not allowed to handle money at all. So, but we do try to develop monasteries and places for practice. So your uh, generosity will be supporting that. And uh, we now have a new place. We've uh, put an offer in, which has been accepted in Oxford on Boar's Hill, uh, for anyone on Zoom who wasn't here. And, uh, and we really invite your contribution, your participation, your um, welcome visits to stay as guests or to come and offer food and, uh, and be involved. So you can also volunteer for the project. We also need a lot of help behind the scenes. I do probably at least 10 jobs at the moment. Still, I'm the main person taking care of the website, which is crazy because it's actually uh, not at all an area of um, expertise and uh, newsletter and uh, promotions, finances, all kinds of different roles that we need support with. And of course, when we move, there'll be maintenance, there'll be building, there'll be all kinds of things. So you can uh, either donate time, donate funds if you have, particularly standing orders are very helpful because we'll have obviously monthly expenses more than we have at the moment because now it's a four bedroom terrace. Soon it will be a big five bedroomed not palace, but monastery uh, in, in the forest, really. It's very close to some beautiful trees in a preservation area on top of a hill called Boar's Hill. And uh, many people who are Buddhists might know that Boar's Cave in India was the place that uh, the Buddha's chief disciple, Sariputta, got enlightened while fanning the Buddha who was giving a Dhamma talk. So that was in Boar's Cave. And we have a property on Boar's Hill. So I need to invite Ajahn Brown and fan him. <laughs> Except he never gets too hot. 
<laughs> then maybe I can get enlightened doing that. Anyway, <laughs> so you're very warmly welcome to be a part of this. And the main purpose of it is that link of spiritual friendship that's so such an important part of the path. Without spiritual friends, we are going to go astray because we simply don't have the wisdom yet to keep us on track. We need one another. We, you know, Even meditating in a group is so supportive, isn't it? It's different from meditating alone and sharing the Dhamma is, uh, is more powerful in a group. So uh, I do hope you'll get involved. For the sake of online, our website is www.anukampaproject.org. Anukampa means compassion. It literally means kind of um, trembling with compassion. So it's the kind of active compassion. It's the kind of feeling that grows so, so strong that it cannot be contained and it starts to flow over into action. So the Buddha was said to teach out of anukampa, out of compassion for the world. Um, it's the kind of active aspect, the empathetic aspect of compassion. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can bring a little more compassion into the world. So, good. And my thanks as well to Sheffield Insight and to the organizers and for making me feel very welcome and making it all incredibly smooth. All I had to do really was, well, have a few years of practice and teaching experience, but you know, and uh, show up and get fed and be nourished by everyone's company. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you again sometime. All right, take care. Thank you. <laughs>